Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, believe it or not, I'm doing another empties video. I can't believe I have enough products to do another one, but I literally go through products like crazy. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get into another empties video. Right, so, for the first product, I have this Pantene um, shampoo. It's a BB shampoo, 10 in 1 multitasker repairs. It says it smooths, boosts, shine, and more. I really do think that this really smooths your hair out and makes it really shiny. It feels like, I don't even know, it just feels like butter when you put it on your hair. And usually, like, conditioners do that, but this, like, it just makes your hair so, so soft and shiny. I love. I love this product so highly recommend this I also like the one that has um avocado oil in it that really makes my hair really smooth and shiny too so check those products out and then I went through another one of my face wash this is the Beeprox 10 anti-blemish wash for acne prone skin the dermatologic cosmetic laboratories um, DCL you can get this on Amazon for $35 and I went through another a dry shampoo. This is my favorite, um, the Batiste brand. I really like getting the tropical. It smells like coconut. It just makes me want to be at the beach. I love it. Um, I did repurchase, but I did get the blush scent. I've had it before and I liked it. Since um, we're kind of moving into the fall, I felt like maybe tropical is not so good, <laughs> even though it would make me think, you know, we're still in summer. So, but I did, I just wanted to try the blush one again. So Batiste is a great dry shampoo. And then I went through a hand soap. This is from Bath & Body Works. It's the Island Pink Palmeo, I think is how you say it. Um, they just have such cute packaging. I'm like a sucker for packaging. And I just really like their hand soaps. So I just keep repurchasing them. And they're always on sale or on clearance. And that's when I usually um, stock up. So I have tons of them under my sink. <laughs> then I went through these Honest Dryer Cloths. Um, they're just dryer sheets. They're kind of moist. You just throw one in with your um, clothes that you're going to dry. And the smell is amazing. It lingers on your clothes. And it says you can reuse these um, a couple times. I didn't. Um, I just did it once and then I threw them away. They're super cheap. They're $4.99. I picked them up at TJ Maxx. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend these. They really made my clothes smell amazing. Then for a body wash, I went through the Aveeno Active Naturals. Positively Nourishing Hydrating Body Wash um, Fig and Shea Butter. It's very, very moisturizing. The only thing I don't like about like a moisturizing body wash is it does not lather. And for some reason, I don't feel like I'm getting clean. I know that I am, but in my mind, if it doesn't get like real soapy, I'm not getting clean. Um, so I probably won't repurchase this, but I do really like it. The scent is really good and it did really make my skin moisturize. So it is a good product, but for me, I want the good lather and that did not give me a lather. So that's up to you if you like a good lather or not. Then I went through some prenatal gummies. Um, these have DHA and folic acid. My um, fertility doctor just said for me to be taking these. I'm not pregnant yet, but um, I am taking these and I just got them from CVS. They usually have them on sale, buy one, get one free, so that's when I stock up on them. And I like the gummies. I'm not a big pill taker. I just, pills like gag me. I just don't like them. And um, multivitamins are really big, so I go for the gummies, and you just take two of these in the morning, and they taste really good, so why not? Then I went through my toner. This is the Glide Tone Acne Clearing Toner with salicylic acid. Um, I do get this from my dermatologist. Or um, from Amazon. I think it's like $25 on Amazon, but um, it's a really good product. Then for a couple brow products, I went through the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Soft Brown. Um, I just really, really love this. I always repurchase. I've gotten like 10 of these. I just, they're just so easy to use. After I ran out of this one, I did, um, I just ran to the drugstore and picked up the Maybelline Brow precise micro pencil and I really do like this if I'm in a pinch and I don't have my Anastasia I'll go get this um the only thing I don't like about this is it's really really small it's like like a pencil like it says but it breaks off real easy it's really like um I don't know if it melts or what happens but it seems to break off really really easy so I go through this really quickly but it is only about five dollars so 
I guess it's not that bad, but I, I don't feel like there's that much product in here, but I do think it's a good um, alternative. If you ran out of your Anastasia and you're in a pinch, go ahead and go to the drugstore and pick the Maybelline one up. And for face wipes, I tried these Garnier Skin Active. This, um, these have the micellar water in them. Um, I liked them. It made my skin feel like moisturized after I used it. I'm assuming because of the micellar water. Um, but the towelettes weren't very big and I'm used to, um, the ones I get in the green package that are the Equate Beauty ones. Uh, they're just a lot bigger, so I went through these pretty quickly. I needed to use like four of them instead of the two that I usually use. So, um, that I didn't like, but I really did like these. And it says it's for all skin types, even sensitive. Um, and it gets off waterproof mascara, so, um, it is a really good product. But I just, I went through these really quickly. These were the ones I'm talking about. These are, I always will repurchase these. I just like them and they don't irritate my skin. Um, you get 40 of them in here and it's only, um, it's under $4. So, and they're very, very large towelettes. So, these last me quite a while. Then for a mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I love this mascara. It is so good. It makes your lashes so um, long and full and just so pretty. Um, I do like to use a mascara underneath it first. I feel like if you use it by itself, yes, it's really good, but to get the full benefit, I like to layer a mascara on top before this, and then it just gives you so much volume. So there's a little tip. Um, if this isn't really working out for you, try that, because that works for me. Then for a um, shower oil, I never ever used a shower oil before. Like I said, I like a good lather and um, this again does not lather at all. It's an oil so you know why would it? But this is the L'Occitane. and um, it has al almond oil in it. What I like to do is use my regular body wash and then um, rinse myself off and then I'll go in with this just to give some extra moisture. Um, and that really, I really liked how that worked. It the smells amazing and it did make my skin really moisturized because it does have the almond oil in it. So if you don't like body oils, shower oils, I should say, um, try it that way and then maybe you'll like it. For another body wash, it's the Magic in the Air. Uh, this is the Bath and Body Works. I always get these little guys because I get the free coupons in the mail, so why not? And these have the Shea and Vitamin E in them, which makes, um... Your skin's so, so moisturized. I love getting the body washes with that in it because it's just heaven. And the smells are great. The packaging's cute. So I keep getting them. <laughs> then I went through a deep repairing conditioning treatment. This is a hair mask from Mark Anthony. Um, I got this from Ulta. It's aloe vera and jasmine. It smelled really, really good. And it lasted me for quite a while. Um, it did... It really made my hair look really nice. I did it like... From the ear down and it really did um keep my hair from getting dried out so i really really liked this i've never found like a hair mask that i'm like oh my gosh this is amazing like they all kind of to me work the same so i got this in a little um a little kit i think so i'm not really sure how much this is i would assume it's probably kind of pricey um, i'm not real sure but um it was a good hair mask so then for a couple sheet masks um this one, I got these in my Ipsy bag. Um, this is the Love Recipe Acai Berry Mask. Um, it's a Japanese mask. But I think they have oil in them, which I was really afraid to use because I have oily skin and my dermatologist said don't use anything with oil because it will clog my pores. So I was a little scared to try this out, but it didn't irritate my skin. It did not I don't remember it clogging my pores or, you know, it didn't irritate my skin or make me break out or anything. So, so yeah, it was a, an okay face mask, I guess. Um, I think the brand is Sally's Box, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And then for two more, these are the Tony Moly um, Skin Purifying I'm Real Green Tea Mask. That's what that one looks like. And then this is the Illuminating um, Lotus Mask. I really liked these. The only thing about them is they're, I felt like they're bigger than the other ones. So it kind of like went into my hair and I didn't really like that. <laughs> and it had a lot of product. Like it was like dripping down my neck. I had to use a towel. I like lay in bed and, you know, play on my phone while I have sheet masks on. And I had to have a towel like wrapped like under my neck because it kept like dripping down. It was like 
disgusting. So, um, they definitely come with a lot of product in them, but, um, I did really like them. I didn't see that it really did anything, you know, like illuminating my skin or clearing up my skin or anything, but, um, yeah, I just went ahead and tried them. So, but I know this Tony Moly brand's really good. So I've never tried anything from that brand, just these. So I can't really say if it's like the brand or not, but, um, these were okay. And then for my last empty is this Elizabeth and James Nirvana, um, bourbon is the scent, a uh, little rollerball. This is my favorite perfume of all times. I love this scent. Um, I don't know what it is. It just smells so, so good. It reminds me of my mom. I don't know if she, <laughs> she must have a perfume that smells like this. I don't know, but um, I'm obsessed with it and I'm gonna have to go pick up a full size. Hopefully they still have this. Um, I just got in a little kit. It had four different scents and I went through this really quickly. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to find the full size. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed another one of my empties. You seem to enjoy them. I like making them, giving you little tips and stuff on the things that I used up, if I like them, if I didn't like them. So if you want me to continue to do these, please give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, yeah.